Hey there. Lately, the U.S. government has been freaking out about China, and there are some reasons to be concerned. A new president for life, concentration camps, the crushing of Hong Kong. So I do think some concern makes sense, but the full-blown panic that Washington D.C. is selling right now makes no sense at all. To illustrate this, I'd like to do a little role reversal and ask what would the past decade have looked like if China was the more powerful country and the United States was reacting to the things that China did. I think. This exercise might help us develop a better sense of proportion in U.S.-China relations. So here we go. What if China was more powerful than the United States? Well, it sure has been a prosperous couple decades for our two countries, hasn't it? It sure has. We crushed the Soviet Union, and then we built this crazy globalized economy together. Victorious capitalism and iPhones. Sure is great. Sure is. So I think we're gonna do a pivot to the Americas. A pivot to the Americas? That sounds kind of ominous. Oh no, it's great. You know those policies we've been using in the Middle East since 2001? Well, we're gonna back off of that a little bit, and we're gonna pivot our military and diplomatic resources to the Americas. But the Middle East is a smoking ruin.、Uh, pivot to the Americas doesn't sound very good to us at all. No, you'll love it. So, first thing, you know how Canada works really closely with you? Well, they're going to abandon your system and move over to our system, and they're going to open their economy to us at every level, and they're also probably going to spark a genocide that destabilizes your entire border region. That is not cool, man. Okay. Everybody in the world seems to like your system better than our system, and we do really need to trade with you. So, I guess this is okay. Great. So we've started selling arms to Cuba. Wait, what? We are selling weapons to Cuba. Why? You know, we invaded them a bunch of decades back, and they still hold that against us. Could you maybe not sell arms to Cuba? Sorry, our defense companies want us to, and we don't really care what you think or want or what makes you uncomfortable. This is unacceptable. I'm sorry, China. You know what we're going to do now? We are going to build some islands in the Gulf of Mexico, and we are going to put military bases on them. Seriously, our defense companies were. Kind of hoping for a bigger threat that we could sell to the Chinese public. We're building islands in the Gulf of Mexico, and we are putting airports on them. Uh huh. What do you think of that? So, in response to our forming deep and lasting military and economic ties with most of your neighbors, you're gonna dump some concrete into the sea thousands of miles away from our shores. Can't you do better than that? I mean, yeah, we are an authoritarian country with a state-directed media that will freak out about anything our military-industrial complex tells them to. But our media has a little self-respect. You can't expect them to build a crisis out of something so small and petty. Give the Chinese public a little credit. Oh yeah, we're also going to start disputes with all of our neighbors over who owns Caribbean islands. So you're going to respond to us getting too close to your neighbors by taking actions that piss off all of your neighbors. You guys aren't too great at this geopolitics thing, are you? Fuck you. We're wolf warriors. Oh, fuck us. <laughs> Well, you know how Mexico has had a smaller military just for self-defense purposes for like a century now. Well, we've convinced them to rapidly build up their military and also renounce the pacifism that they agreed to after they lost that war with you a number of decades back. All right, now you've done it. We're going to South Dakota, and we're opening up concentration camps, and we're going to do absolutely everything we can to wipe out their culture. Jesus. That's pretty grim. I I don't think this is gonna make anybody like you better, man. You, you you don't you don't think so? No, man. That's really fucked up. Well, we're still economic buddies, right? Well, actually, we had this thing called the TPP that was gonna cut you out of world trade almost entirely. But you're obviously so hopeless at geopolitics that our new president got rid of it because 
he thought it would help him out with domestic politics. Oh, well, I guess we really dodged a bullet there then, huh? Economically, yes. After four years of our new president, uh, your exports are through the roof and the trade balance is more in your favor than it ever has been. But um, our president hates you. Wait, what, he's great for us economically, but he hates us? Yeah, we don't get it either. He can't pronounce your name. He scared off most of the alliance that we built up to face you. But uh, he talks about how he hates you in like every single speech. Every speech? Yep. You know, our pride is really important to us as a country. I think by this point it should be pretty clear that we don't care at all about what you think, right? You know what we're gonna do? What? You like Seattle, don't you? Yeah, the whole world loves doing business in Seattle. It's a, an amazing place with a sensible legal structure that makes all of us international business types feel safe doing business in your insane country. Well. We're going to impose some rigorous new laws in Seattle, inciting a protest movement that's going to make it almost impossible to get any business done there for like a year. Then we're going to arrest half the Seattle City Council. Wolf Warrior! Woohoo! Honestly, sometimes I really worry about you, man. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I hope it made sense. The China of today has some real problems. They have a system that's running out of steam and a leadership class that's going kind of nuts. I hope that today's video, the stories mentioned and linked in the description below, can give you a sense of the way that US actions contributed to China's leaders going a little crazy. Washington DC keeps telling us that we need to be more and more aggressive towards China. Well, we've been trying that strategy for most of a decade now, and the results have been not great. Maybe we should try to play a smarter game? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you want a free PDF essay on a completely different topic, you can sign up for my email newsletter at the link here. Thanks.